Greetings, this research presentation focuses on visibility of recycled asphalt aggregates with warm mix asphalt. Paper describes the feasibility of utilizing three different warm mix asphalt or WMA additives, organic, mechanical, and water containing at recommended contents with different percentages of RAP. The mechanical properties and cost-benefit analysis of WMA containing RAP have been performed and compared with WMA without RAP. The results indicated that 30%, 10%, and 20% can be accepted as an optimum RAP addition related to organic, chemical, and water-containing additives respectively, and organic additive with 30% RAP content uh, has an appreciable increase in tensile strength over the control mix. It was also concluded that the RAP with WMA technology is the ability to reduce final cost compared to HMA and WMA mixtures. Related works this point of section is to highlight work done by others that somehow ties with respect to the research paper. Scope limitations and delimitations. The asphalt mixtures were produced with limestone aggregates. Fine and coarse limestone aggregates were produced from a uh, quarry. Properties of bitumen are improved by means of organic, chemical, and water-containing warm mix asphalt additives. We have the additives to be discussed later on. In order to find out the properties of the aggregate used in this study, sieve analysis ASTMC 136, specific gravity on ASTMC 127 and ASTM 128, Los Angeles abrasion resistance test ASTMC 131, sodium sulfate soundness test ASTMC 88, fine aggregate angularity test ASTMC 1252, and flat elongated particle test ASTM D4791 were conducted on limestone aggregates. Grading of aggregate had been chosen in conformity with the type 1 running course of standard specifications. Here is a table for the properties of aggregates used for conduct of study. The road industry has been seeking to minimize the amount of energy required to produce asphalt mixture and to lower asphalt plant emissions parallel to energy savings and environmentally benefits for many years. Emissions from hot mix asphalt or the HMA are harmful to the environment during the laying and compaction steps. The emissions in hot mix asphalt include nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and the other volatile organic components. Research aims to conduct visibility of recycled asphalt aggregates with warm mix asphalt. Thus, in the assessment just cited above, specific objectives are recycled asphalt on demand reduction for new bitumen, reduced final cost compared to HMA and WMA mixtures, refinery energy saving, reduced consumption, reduced demand for bitumen parallel to electric power consumption, reduced necessities of quarrying, transportation, and the subsequent processing and recycling methods, significance of the study, lowering asphalt production emissions and compaction emissions in the plant are the most important benefits of utilization of warm mix asphalt. Minimize the amount of energy required to produce asphalt mixture, it lowers asphalt plant emissions parallel to energy savings and environmental benefits. Recycling processes save energy, reduction of aggregate necessities of quarrying, transportation, and subsequent processing and recycling methods. Recycled asphalt reduces the demand for a new bitumen and saves energy at the refinery. Moreover, electric power consumption significantly decreases because of reduced demand for bitumen. In order to characterize the properties of the base bitumen, conventional bitumen tests such as penetration test, softening point test, thin film oven test, penetration and softening point after TFOT, etc. were performed. 
We also have the conventional bitumen test, the base samples, and the bitumen samples containing organic, chemical, and water-containing additives were subjected to the following conventional bitumen test. Viscosity. The viscosity is one of the most important rheological properties of fluid that is defined as resistance to flow. The effect of viscosity on bitumen sorkability is very important in selecting proper mixing and compacting temperatures. We also have the Sassabite Redisit Warm Mix and Advera as additives. Reclaimed asphalt pavement material to be utilized within warm mix asphalt was obtained from 7 years old asphalt pavement on determining properties of RAP. In order to obtain aged bitumen from RAP, the oxidized sample was firstly placed in the reservoir of extractor. The extraction process began by placing a specified amount of the wrap in the extraction vessel with a specified amount of toluene. A motor was attached and rotated the vessel for a specified time with the amount of added toluene. This was allowed the toluene or bitumen mixture to flow into the first holding flask. Different techniques of producing warm mix asphalt promise various energy savings for production. This most depends on how much the production temperature is lowered and what kind of warm mix asphalt additive is used compared to hot mix asphalt. The cost analysis calculations are carried out in three steps. These are calculation of benefits, calculation of cost, and determination of final cost. Objectives versus results. Conventional bitumen test results, uh, it shows here, prepared with organic, chemical, and water-containing additives are presented in the table. A decrease in penetration and increase in softening point. Six replicates of each warm mix asphalt samples were prepared for bitumen testing. The coefficient of variation, which is calculated as the ratio of standard deviation to mean value related to bitumen tests such as penetration, softening point, viscosity, and other, varies between 0.46% and 1.58% indicating a reasonable consistency. The results of viscosity related to each warm mix asphalt additive at 135 degrees Celsius and 165 degrees Celsius are shown at semi-logarithmic figure presented. The temperature that corresponds to compaction and mixing range is also summarized in the table. It is evident that the addition of organic additive reduces the mixing and compaction temperature by 13 degrees Celsius and 9 degrees Celsius respectively in comparison with the base bitumen. The addition of chemical additive reduces the mixing and compaction temperature by 10 degrees Celsius and 7 degrees Celsius. Similarly, the addition of water-containing additive reduces both the mixing and compaction temperature by 9 degrees Celsius. Based on the extraction test results, the average bitumen content was found as 4.30% related to 10 batches of RAP samples. Conventional bitumen test result conducted on the old bitumen is presented in the table. The mixed gradation 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, and 50% of the RAP and 90%, 80%, 70, 60, and 50 of new aggregate must meet the new requirements of standard specification related to the type 1 wearing course construction. In this study, the optimum bitumen content related to warm mix asphalt including organic additive, chemical additive, and water containing additive were determined by the Marshall analysis as 4.30% on 4.53% and 4.50% respectively. The asphalt concrete samples including three different kinds of warm mix asphalt additives and different percentages of RAP were prepared taken into the mixing and compaction temperatures into consideration. All recycled asphalt mixtures involving all warm mix asphalt additives provide adequate stability Minimum of 900 kilograms related to wearing course specification. The stability values increase with increasing of RAP contents for the mixtures prepared with organic additive and water-containing additive. However, 
no significant variation is observed on the stability values above 30% RAP content addition for the mixtures involving chemical additive. More than 30%, 10%, and 20% RAP addition are below the specification limits of low values for mixtures prepared with organic, chemical, and water-containing additive respectively. Therefore, it can be concluded that the 30% RAP content with organic additive, 10% RAP content with chemical additive, and 20% RAP content with water-containing additive can be accepted as an optimum RAP content based on the specification limits of flow and stability values. As RAP contents increase, the voids increase as well for all specimens involving warm mix asphalt additives due to crystallized structure of oxidized RAP materials. The ITS results of mixtures involving RAP are higher than the control samples. The increase in ITS values of mixtures can be attributed to the increased stiffness of the mixtures involving RAP. The greater tensile strength of the mixture containing RAP as compared to control mixture also indicates greater cohesive strength of the warm mix asphalt with RAP. Among the utilized warm mix asphalt additives together with optimum RAP addition, warm mix mixture involving organic additive with 30% RAP depicted the most tensile strength, exhibiting the tensile strength ratio as 1.13. The conclusion of the study covers the utilization of three types of warm mix asphalt additives with different percentages of RAP materials with 50 over 70 penetration grade base bitumen. Besides, the utilization of organic, chemical, and water containing additives help in the reduction of viscosity values which are in return decreases the mixing and compaction temperature leading to the reduction of energy costs as well as emissions. Based on the utilized aggregate, 30%, 10%, and 20% can be accepted as an optimum RAP addition related to organic, chemical, and water-containing additives respectively. The other properties of samples including optimum RAP content for each used additive such as flow, air void level are also within the specification limits. The utilization of RAP with warm mix asphalt exhibits low flow values with high stability values and hence high Marshall quotient or MQ values that indicates high stiffness mixture with a greater ability to spread the applied load and resist grip deformation. For our future works, moisture susceptibility is an important issue for warm mix asphalt mixtures, including reclaimed asphalt pavement that enable low mixing, laying, and compaction temperatures compared to the conventional hot mix asphalt. If the aggregate is not dried prior to mixing, the inherent moisture can prevent the bitumen from bonding with the surface of the aggregate which may lead to stripping. More research can be conducted to evaluate the stripping resistance of warm mix mixtures, including reclaimed asphalt pavements by way of performing modified Lattman tests. The long-term performance evaluations and more extensive tests may be performed containing different warm mix asphalt additives and different penetration grade bitumen. Visibility of recycled asphalt aggregates with warm mix asphalt.